Hey, Prince. Oh, I'm trying to figure things out. I'm not great at uh, trying to fix these things. Ooh, buddy. Okay. How are you doing today? So, so, did you have yesterday off at all? Ah, cool. So, hopefully you got to rest a little bit. I'm trying to figure out how to do a background on my, for my site and thinking about what type of background I might want to have, which is fun. So I may spend some time trying to look this up as well. But I drew a bunch of leaves yesterday. Like this leaf. Bum -bum. And I'm trying to decide first which leaf I like best. And then secondly, how to do a tiled background. I kind of like this one because it's very simple. Ah, oh, thanks. wondering how to do like a grid. I'm just going to look it up. This is going to take me forever. Let's see. Button. Oh no, hit another button. There we go. <laughs> okay. You can tell I do not normally stream at my desk because it's like there's a lot of buttons that I can hit. None of them are the right button which is terrifying. Okay. So, creating repeating patterns in Procreate. I guess I could show you what I'm going for too. So, okay. So maybe start at the beginning. So, let's start with Figma. So I'm updating my site. So let's start with my site. Okay, here we go. And I can show you all of the things that are wrong with it that I'm trying to fix. Okay. So, all right. I've got, I've got my setup now. I can do this. Okay, maybe. Hello? Let's see. 
Sorry, I'm trying to understand how these screens work because it is confusing to me. It's like I can't drag the way I normally would. So, hold please. Okay. It won't open in this thing. I can do this. All right, don't judge my background. It's real bad. And I know it. Okay. Keep trying to fix it and it just never gets fully fixed. Okay, so this is my site right now and it's pretty simple. Like this is the main page that goes to articles. Um, when you hit my face, whoop, stays there. When you hit about, it goes to an about page there's a notes page, which are not, they're like short posts, basically. So I basically take notes in here, like any note I take, I try to make public. Um, like if I'm thinking about something. So it's like, oh, all these notes, but there's no way to search or see stuff by category or anything. It's just like, you know, a list, which isn't great. And then I was looking at some stuff recently with uh, like basically just trying to see the other work that I've done. And I noticed there's like all this stuff that I've done writing like in 2014 like all of the most not all of it but most of this is like creative writing that I did um because I have a background in creative writing and I write stories and so the majority of this is like stories that I um that I wrote and have now been put like where are they think still on medium so all of these things are still on medium right um, and like the links aren't quite right because that doesn't work the way it's supposed to um, but anyway I have like all this old stuff that I still I like to see because it reminds me of like what I've done but again not very helpful to try to find stuff um, so I just kind of put this in one page and then I have this like art and fun, which is more like projects. So there's, um, crafts and baking, ceramics, some gardening stuff that's going to come up, some illustration stuff. So anyway, I'm just trying to figure out like, how can I make this a holding place for everything? Um, and it's... I want to make this more organized so that when people come here it like has a good list of the work that I've done but also links them out to other places I don't want to have to manually upkeep all of this um, and specifically for the articles I want to make it so that people can filter and stuff because I have a lot of different things up here. So like this betterment socially responsible investing stuff, that's like a post more about climate change than anything else. There's like a bunch of climate work in here. There's stuff on UX research careers. Uh, and then I have things around neuroscience and psychology. Like it's just a bunch of random things. and. I like writing about all these things, but um, you can't find them right now. Like, it's impossible to find it. 
Um, it's impossible to search, filter, nothing. So I started doing um, a wireframe that started out as a wireframe and I am extremely worried is going to end up being like some type of ridiculous design system or some terrible shit like that, which I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid, afraid that's what it's going to look like. So let me show you then um, kind of some sites that I look at as inspiration. And then we'll get to the illustration stuff. I'm still, I, I'm realizing as I'm talking through it how much I'm, this is all still like a work in progress in my brain. So uh, Kurt just finished his site and I liked the way that it links out. So it's like, I think I want mine to be one page, but I like that things kind of link out from a main source. So. I liked that on his, um, and I liked that there was just these. There were just these kind of four content resources, shop, newsletter. Like that's pretty clear, and I like that. <laughs> you know, it's not like mine. My navigation is slowly turning into like three things, and then an everything category, and that's not good. So I'm trying to think like how do I how do I organize the stuff and just make it a hub like. There's got to be a better way. So there's that one. And then uh, Lynn Fisher, whose work I just absolutely admire. So the thing I really like about Lynn's is she changes her site every year, right? Um, so every year there's a new design. And by the way, you can see, I think all of her old designs here. Yeah. Like, oh, so dope. Anyway. Um, I'm never going to be able to, well, I could do this if I wanted. I think it would take me a very, very, very many years, like to get the first thing out the door. But what I do like that she has done is, um, David Rose, is she had does a new one of these every year, but the underlying architecture of the site doesn't change. So she's changing the layout like the visual layout. But if you look at her old sites, like if you go to like even, like let's go further back to her 27 site, 17 site. So it's in this like archive slash archive slash 2017. And um, it's the same navigation, web art about thoughts. and it's got like the whole site is archived here right but the layout and the layout changes but like the underlying architecture doesn't and i really really like that because it then becomes easy to add on and do more so that was inspiration as well and then um i also looked at April's site, Bogan Code, because holy shit, how polished is this? Like, I loved, like, I follow her on Twitter, and I not ever talk to her, like, in person, and I feel like I know, I like, this to me is her just from what I've seen in, like, conversations on Twitter. So I went to this site and I was like, oh my God, I don't even know her, but like this feels like it would be her, right? So that was one of the reasons that I liked this site as inspiration too, is it's just, it's her. Um, and I think that that's important, you know, to have like, it need it, it should be like you. And like, I know that she's very much into like high fashion and stuff like this, and this feels like a magazine um in the best way possible and so anyway i you i wanted this as inspiration because it's like you know if you're gonna make a choice make a bold choice and like make it you so anyway that was a cool one and then um yeah i love 
I love April's stuff, Prince. It's like I like I said, I haven't ever talked to her one on one, but um I yeah, she she does such cool work. And then the last one, which probably not gonna be surprising, is um like I would I Jason updated his site a while ago, but we talked through some of the architecture before it went up. And so somewhat unsurprisingly, the architecture of his is very similar to what I'm looking for, um, where it's mainly it's all one page. Um, because in my mind, it should be a hub, like my site should be a hub, um, at least for me. Um, I don't I don't need to have a bunch of stuff that's just that's like needs to be manually updated on my site it can it can link out and it's fine so like I I am I like that <clears throat> it scrolls down to the section right um, and then when you hit okay I want to check out learn with Jason it goes to a separate area, like this is a new URL. And I kind of like that because then it keeps things organized. It's like, if you imagine your site being, if your site is a hub, right, it's almost like, think of it like a library where you've got a card catalog and you've, each, each card is its own book that's in a section that's in the, in the drawer, you know? So anyway, I like thinking about it like that because that's sort of how I'm hoping to have mine lay out. So I am, I spent a long time not talking to people today, which means my brain is kind of rusty, I think. Words are difficult tonight. So um, yeah, so those were the main, I think those were four sites. Yeah, those are the four sites that I kind of looked at for different different reasons that I really, really liked, and then I'm trying to like mash them together in a way that makes sense. <laughs> so let me show you this. I'm getting there. I don't know how this turned into like a talk about my site thing. I was gonna do some illustrations and I still am, but it's like, Taking me a minute. Okay. Boop. There we go. Aha! I did a screen switch and it was great. So, uh, thanks, Prince. I'm, I'm almost like talking through this more, almost for myself too, because like I haven't said it out loud in a full, like, like in a full thing. I've said bits and pieces and like, asked people questions, but I haven't sat down and been like, this is what I'm trying to do out loud. I've done it to myself, for myself, like internally, but I haven't written it out and I haven't talked it out. So this is actually really helpful. Okay, so I, in an, in an attempt to make it easier on myself, just started designing mobile only because um, I can expand stuff out to, de to Mini. And, I mean, Mini's gonna match the mobile and I can expand stuff out to fit the MacBook Pro, so I've just basically been focusing on the, the Pixel, and I don't know why it says Pixx. I don't know what I did, <laughs> but so anyway, I wanted to first have my logo. So this is my pottery stamp that I freaking love. Um, so this is the actual file from the stamp that I have, um, and I kind of came at this from a branding perspective of if if I'm creating a hub everything that I'm doing it might link out to a separate site but it all should have like a similar voice right which is what you'd say if it was a brand so I really like this and I like that it is something that both is online but is in the physical world too because like all of my pottery has this stamp now so that's pretty dope and then you know we got our little hamburger nav which you know it's um it's like a known it's a known thing i think that fits heuristics now people know what it means after all these years and then i was thinking okay well how do i make it seem like 
Like how do I, like I was thinking about April's site. When you go to her site, it just, from all of the stuff that you see online and the things that she talks about, when you go to the site, you're like, oh yeah, that fits. Like that feels like it's April's site. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think that for people that know me better, this is a very me type of picture. Um, like my hair is sort of like curling everywhere and I'm very excited about like the little slushy that I have. Um, I don't know. This photo is very me, I think, in my mind. Um, and like I'm wearing a little skirt and I love like just t-shirts and skirts and you know, anyway. So it just feels like, oh yeah, that would be me. Um, and then I, I tried to pull in some, I started pulling in some colors that um, actually I kind of like this, that instead of trying to match the background, I tried to um, match my hair and skin tone. So I pulled in the browns from, or like the tans from that. Where is it? Here. So like this is just me pulling in my hair and my skin tone because I felt like, oh, that's cool because it's a way to like pop off of the background a little bit. So there was that. And then um, I've got like a simple navigation that I liked April's navigation. So I started kind of playing with that. And these aren't like, this is just an exploration at this point, but um, and then I wanted to have like some type of more solid background, which is why we're getting into the wallpaper illustration stuff today, because I, I'm trying to think like, how can I make it so the only thing that I have to change is stuff that I like changing? I really like doing illustrations. I really like um, changing the visual stuff on a site. Like if I get to, like I, I enjoy adding blog posts and having that go up. But, and I enjoy every once in a while, like changing the, um, the, the colors and like kind of the theme and look of the site, but I don't want to have to update. I don't want to have to do like a full architecture change again. I, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't really like it. And I don't like, it's a, it's a lot of time to spend on something that you don't really enjoy doing. Um, so I like if there's a way that I can just make it so that the layout always works like Lynn's site the layout is always the same and she's changing she gets to then work on the fun stuff of like the the visual changes and the page layout changes but not the architecture so like I was thinking how do I do that and please note I realize that these contrast ratios are abysmal uh, again, this is just for fun. It's not going to be developed at all, at least not in this form. So then, so that was my thought there. So like how, like a solid background would be cool because I do, do, do a lot of illustrations. So that might lend itself to like changing the background layout illustration sometimes, which would be something I would like because then I just import that new illustration, right? It can change the picture out if I want. Um, and depending on how this is set up, like, you know, with the styles, like the CSS styling, like we can set global colors and stuff so that then that can be changed across the site too. But the layout wouldn't change. So then I was thinking, okay, well, my site just feels very disorganized because it's just a bunch of information kind of vomited onto the page. like. I write stuff and then it's like bleh. Um, and I didn't like that. And people, like not people, there aren't enough people that read my site to say people. Um, but when I've talked to my friends about the site before, they're like, yeah, I don't know how to find anything. And it's like, well, you can't, so good luck. Um, and so I like, I don't want, a, I don't think I want a search. I don't even know that it would be worth a search. Um, but a filter, let me see, I should probably name this filter. See, ah, we're learning. Um, I 
So yeah, that probably should be filtered just for clarity. Okay. Um, but so um, the categories or filter would then list all of the things that you could filter by. And you could pick multiple. So if you pick nothing, you're just gonna get all the posts in a row, but you could filter and get the selected posts for the filters that you choose. Um, so that's one thing. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. taking notes. Um, so there's that. And then I also like having notes and, a, and blog posts. So having notes and that um, kind of digital gardening that uh, I know Prince knows about and probably people know about, but digital gardening is basically where you're writing out, um, just writing out your notes or your thoughts <clears throat> and then posting them and coming back to them later if you're more interested or expanding on them later if you want to. I really like that idea and that's what the notes section on my site is for. And I like that, however, like does it need to be a separate section? Only It only needs to be a separate section for my edification because it makes me nervous for people to think that I have something unfinished because I'm a perfectionist, but surprise, nothing is ever perfect enough anyway. At least for me, I think it's all crap. So, so having a separate section of notes versus blog posts, I think, is a fake way for me to feel safe. And I don't know that it, it doesn't like serve any purpose other than confusing people who do visit. Um, it, it's basically, it's basically perfectionist theater, uh, like security theater, but for perfection. Um, so it's not useful, right? Um, and so I'm gonna get rid of the notes or the notes section and just put it all together. I know nobody is perfect, Prince. I know. I just have a dream that one day I could do one thing perfectly and then it would never be enough. Um, no, I'm kidding. Kind of. It's a problem. Anyway, um, so what I have done is because I really enjoy like nature and gardening and, and that type of imagery, um, I have kind of done these little minimalist drawings of like, look at this little sprout with a leaf. So that would be a note. And look at this little plant with a flower. That would be a post. Um, and so I don't even know that I would need to explain to people what that is. I almost think it would be fun to like just leave it and I would know what it is and like in my, on my CMS, we, I use Sanity right now and it's separated into, po into posts and notes. So um, with that same setup, if I were to set it with a note, it could automatically pull in this sprout image. Um, and when it posts, just put this on the title card. So that would be kind of cool and a great way for me to also kind of categorize this thing is a work in progress or this thing is a full-fledged post. Maybe overthinking that. I'm probably overthinking that, but I kind of like it. So there's that. And then, so that's just the blog post, the blog. And I'm, don't worry, I'm not gonna force you to sit through all of this stuff. But then I thought that there would be, it would be good to have a speaking page where um, all of my podcasts and um, meetups and conference talks are in one place and I haven't really gotten that far because then I started rethinking this uh, blog post area and then I thought okay well this is just like a photo from Unsplash which is cute like I like the I like I, I enjoy balloons and so <laughs> I pulled that but um, I thought it might be nice to do my own wallpaper um, for the background and also if I focus on the wallpaper that means I can stop trying to figure out how to set this thing up <laughs> so it's like a win-win situation um, 
So then that was what I was doing last night because I was like, I don't want to try to <laughs> win, win, win. Exactly, Prince. So uh, I was thinking, okay, well, if I focus on something else, I don't have to deal with the fact that I'm not sure that this setup is going the way I want. <laughs> so uh, to that effect, now we finally come to the illustration itself. Please don't look at the horror show that is my uh, background. So bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I have this wallpaper. Let me show you. I secretly really love, I really like um, like minimal, like white, like I like white stuff, like white backgrounds with like pops of color. But there is this thing that I love, which is, um, let's see if I can find it. Let's see, Glam Club wallpaper. I know, this is weird, just hang with me. There is this wallpaper in Rum Club. Is it gonna be more? Come on, is it gonna show up? It's like pixelated for me too. Um, there is this wallpaper in Rum Club that I love. Rum Club is one of my favorite bars. And um, it has, you can't see it very well. It's this dark, dark, dark blue, possibly black wallpaper that has um, bright red and gold birds with green leaves on it. And you walk in and it's like this whole side of uh, the wall and I love it. And it like, it just feels so good to walk in there and like, it just fits with everything else. And so in my mind, I kind of wanted to try to recreate that. Maybe this is better. Yeah, so you can't see it because of the picture, <clears throat> but this is like shiny, like the leaves and the, the wings are shiny, like gold leaf. And I just love it. Um, so I was thinking, you know, maybe there's a way that I could recreate that. Um, or at least get something similar. Yeah, Prince, I love it. It's, it's and it's a it's a pattern that was done by an illustrator in Portland. So it's like a it's like a bespoke wallpaper, um, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, but I love wallpapers like that. I don't know how to translate that type of wallpaper to digital form though. Like. <clears throat> Wallpaper, it's almost like thinking like about ceramics, right? Like it's something you can feel and touch and you can like see the texture and like gold leaf has a different texture than like a different gloss of paint, right? And so it, it, there's just a lot of things happening physically with the wallpaper that I can't re really recreate in a 2D form. But I was like, well, I can start with the colors, I guess. And so I thought, well, what do I really like? Like, I would love to have some birds. I don't know how to draw birds. So we may try that tonight and that'll be really funny. But um, I really, I really like the leaves. So I thought maybe I could, you know, try to do something with that, which led me, oh gosh, hold on. I gotta find it, which led me to this. Look, we finally made it, that long road. Um, ooh, a shimmer as the mouse moves across the site. That's a cool idea, Prince. I'm gonna take a note of that, hold on. Let me comment in my Figma doc. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'm, I'm actually writing this note in so that I don't lose it. That's a, that is an interesting idea. Okay. That would be cool. 
be fun. It would be fun to play with that and see like how can we add texture to <clears throat> to the site. So anyway, that's how I ended up here. How we got to now. Um, so this, I did a few different uh, drawings on here as well. So let me show you. There's just a bunch. I'll just turn them all on. Um, ooh, buddy. Well, let me see. Let me turn. Let me turn you off. Yes. Um, oh. These kind of look cool together. I haven't turned them all on together. Um, oh, uh, a wireframe is a, um, like the, not kind of like a template of your site. It's like what the site setup that your site will have. So it doesn't necessarily have all of the visual content in there, but it's like, where is, what's the navigation going to look like? What are the interactions going to look like? Um, what is your site setup going to look like? It's basically the architecture and logic for your site design and how people move through your site and the content that's going to be on your site. Um, and so you can have different fidelities of a wireframe. You can have like low fidelity wireframe that's literally just um, outlines um, that shows your screen. Or you can have high fidelity wireframes like the ones that I was showing a minute ago that are, um, you could basically give those to a developer and talk through them with them what you wanted it to look like and it would be um, not quite one to one, but it gives you a much better idea of like what the end result is gonna look like. Um, but wireframes help you think through the architecture interaction and navigation of your site. Um, and they're very fun when they're not your own site. <laughs> like, I love doing wireframes for stuff that's not mine. It's really hard trying to do it for your own stuff because it never is, I don't know, it just never feels right. Anyway, that's my own opinion. I'm sure others might disagree. But so, this uh, wallpaper, I would hope would be the background of one of my sections on the on my one page site yeah the wallpaper is the background yep so the balloons that I showed earlier the this background would replace those balloons basically um yeah so I started working on these um I also did, let's see, oh, I'm clicking like that's going to do anything. <laughs> so I started here, and like I said, I like it because it's really simple. I think this repeating pattern could actually look super cool. Um, I don't know how to get this to go away. Go away. No, go away. Stop. Okay. Uh, <laughs> So I think this repeating pattern could look really cool. I don't know how to do, don't know how to do a repeating pattern, but I can figure it out. Let's learn together how to design a seamless repeat with Procreate. That's exactly what I want. Let's see, I'll move this over so you can see what I'm looking at. I'm so sorry that my screen is just a tragedy right now. I uh, was not prepared to do the stream uh, on my desktop today for no reason other than, oh no, I, I don't want to join. Can I not read it? No, come on, come on, fine. Don't want to watch a video. 
that's a little too much. Um, oh, this is a newer one anyway. Okay. I am interested in, see, ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh, so maybe I should draw a few things. That's a good thing to think about. The wallpaper I like at Rum Club has three separate patterns. A bird, a small, floofy plant, and then a plant with big leaves. So that's worth thinking about, is like, should I have three separate things? Maybe. I kind of like this because it's bright. It definitely has like color combinations with this yellow and that yellow and this color and that color and this is a lighter brown than the background and the pinks are just a few shades off. Same with the greens. Okay, I get it. I get it, I get it. Okay, anyway, let's see, sorry. Um, I'm interested in seamless repeating patterns. They're a must on your portfolio, okay. Oh, is it a, oh, it's a video, son of a gun. Duplicate option to create a copy of your layers before you modify it. Good to have a reset point in case you have to start over from the beginning. That's the truth. Four layers, okay. Use markers to mark the corners of your artwork before you use the transform tool. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I didn't do that at all. Okay. Never let, the tra never let go of the transform tool until you see the orange yellow lines. Always make sure to check your pattern once you feel you're done with the basic pattern block. Okay. Never increase or decrease the size of your basic pattern tile block. This messes up the quality of the work. Instead, use the duplicate option to create a bigger pattern. Oh. Okay, I did use the duplicate to make a new leaf, so that's good. Oh, Spoonflower will let me automatically create a repeating pattern on their site. Okay, so that might be worth looking at. Spoonflower was that other site I was just on. Also, if I'm repeating information for people, I'm sorry, I've never done this before, so I am learning right now. Uh, if you plan on uploading to print on demand, no, I don't wanna do print on demand. <clears throat> cool. Let's see. So really, it sounds like Let me try one other. I didn't know, I don't know if there's one for like tile, tiling, because Figma has like a tiling thing. So I guess also, theoretically, I could like export this to Figma and just do the tiling that way. That is less fun. So, let's see. What is this? Oh, oh boy. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do then, 
is try to come up with two other images that I want to use and start there for my wallpaper. So I'm going to do this. pulling up the Rum Club wallpaper because I need to look at it, I think, to like help me think about what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, yes, there are three different visual items on this Rum Club wallpaper. A bird, a big leaf, and a, a poofy leaf. Poofy. So, they're like little, oh, they're like, um, the light green leaf is big, and then there is a pattern behind it that's leaves as well that are darker. And so what that does is it gives the wallpaper depth. Oh, see? Oh my gosh, I'm learning so much. Okay. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. I don't know how to do it digitally, but I get it. I at least, I get what I'm going for. Okay, okay, okay. Shit. <laughs> okay. I can do this. You can do this. I can do this. Okay, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing, so just bear with me here for a second. I'm playing right now and I don't know what's gonna happen. So we're just gonna play together. Okay, so I have a super bright thing. Dope. Now I'm gonna make a not as super bright thing. So. is the color that I currently have and I want to do oh my gosh I'm just like shamelessly seeing what they did and trying to like mimic the depth they created okay so then I need to make this a little lighter by the way I love doing color exploration no oh, I spit that was gross I love doing color explorations like this where um like you take a pattern and break it down. I love it, it's so much fun. I did this with Notion the other day and I need to, um, I should write a post on it. I spent like an hour doing a color exploration of um, Notion's visual, uh, not visual design, but like their color design. And it was so much fun. Okay, so they took the same pattern, but a little different. Is it the same pattern? Holy shit, it's the same pattern, I think. That's smart. Okay. Then that's what I'm gonna do. It's like a similar pattern, but not exactly the same. So. Let's see if this color is correct. Yeah, that's good. That's a good, like it shouldn't contrast that much. Mm, I don't want to do it like that. Oh, the other funny thing that I didn't mention. So these two gold leaves at the top I drew those with my finger because my pencil was dead last night, but I was determined. I was like, no, I've come so far. I am not going to stop. And so I drew them with my finger and uh, it was a lot harder. Oh no, did my pen die? 
Son of a gun. I need a separate charger. This pen. All right. I'm literally going to have to do this with my finger. My pen hurt me. And then crapped out. No, oh, that's a heart, Marissa. I'm trying to connect them without. There we go. Just go with it. I'm saying that to myself. I hate that. That's okay. Maybe I'll do... lighter but it's grayer gray gray yeah okay Nope, wrong button. All right, let's try this again, but with this. This is, let's try this color. Do something sharper. Well, this one can't, they each come to a point. So maybe. Mm -hmm. Trying to make it connect without overlapping, and it is not easy for me. It's harder with your finger because your finger is fat, so you can't see it. Oh, I didn't want to connect it all the way. left one looks good. The right one, I hate. Maybe just make it smaller. Oh, mm -mm. You like how I talk to myself? This is how I talk to myself when I am 
working on stuff alone. Uh, no. Maybe? No. Ooh, idea. Idea, idea, idea. 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 I have one. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm gonna do it. No. Maybe. No. Can't. Shoot. Okay. 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 And then I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Okay, I don't want that shape though. That is trending positive. Trending positive. I want. This is fun. Hmm? Hmm? No, do it. Ooh. That's some texture. but I want it to be smaller if I have to. Oh, I can do both. Yeah, yeah. And if you're asking yourself, but Marissa, what is that? No. Oh. I'm mostly like, do I like this? And does that feel right to have these? It's fun. That's fun. Ah, I like that. Okay. Son of a biscuit. I didn't do it on a separate layer. Okay. I'm going to make this its own layer and I'm going to erase this because I don't like it enough to keep it. So, bye. Okay. Okay. Now you're on your own layer. Good job. I don't know why I told the picture good job like it had done it wrong to begin with. But it did. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay. No. Oh. I like this. I could do this a lot. It's fun. Um, okay, and then they have... So it's three, co three colors that are very similar to the background and then one pop color. Um, so, for them, red is the pop color. And then, like I mentioned, there's like the gold that's shiny when you see it in person. But it sort of like ties it all together. So let me, I don't know, let's try some red. Why not? Let's do it. Oh, I like that. Oh yeah, that's like pink red. That's right up my alley. Am I gonna try to draw a bird? No. No, I'm not. That would just be tragic. Um, what could I draw? I could draw a flower. Try a rose. I think I'm gonna hate that, but let's do it. Oh, hello. Um, I'm so irritated that my pencil died. Like, why? Like, just be better. One job. What am I looking for? I do like this syrup brush. It's probably one of my favorites.
I don't particularly like that, but I do need to see if this even will connect correctly. I don't think it will. Yeah, okay. You know what? I do like hearts. I don't care. I'm gonna draw one. I like them. They're fun. I'm just looking at this wallpaper and trying to see what else might might work. It needs so the the gold leaf could be the center, like the um, the pop like pop of color, like I said. The problem or not problem, but like even though there is there is the bird that's the pop of color, it matches the lighter colored leaves. Okay, here we go. Oh, crap. I'm so bad at remembering to do layers. That leaf is almost there, but it's the wrong color.
I somehow made it so that, like if you see this, the problem is I don't remember how I did it. I made it so that, oh, I know. I made it all, I made the color wheel darker so like everything became more saturated which made it easier for me to see kind of what color I was picking because I knew I wanted a dark background. And there was this, I think. Did I use this? Mm. That's not it. Maybe you can only do it on the background. That's interesting. Fascinating. Yeah, you can only do that on the background. <laughs> Weird. Okay. Let me try this leaf again. Mm -hmm. see maybe I'll leave it at those so we have four things One, two, three. And that's how many they had for that so I don't know maybe maybe I will try to start creating a pattern now and deleting all these old layers because it seems like it would be better to keep it simple. So, <laughs> excuse me. My problem is duplicate. 
So. No. That's what I was looking for the other day. I was like, I know that there is a duplicate on here and I couldn't freaking find it. Okay, so I'm going to, right there, the whole time, the whole time. No, don't do that. That's the size I want that. And then All right. Let's duplicate. Stop it. I am sure there is a faster way to do this. I don't know it, so. I want five for no reason other than I like that number. Really? really like that. I don't know why, but I do. It's very fun. It's too small. That's good. Ugh. No. Okay, well, sorry.
Oh, you see how... Oh, thanks, the blue one. Yeah, with the little floof on it. I like that one too. You see this, the overlap, like it creates a little bit more depth. So that's super fun. So I did more of the dark green one, not because I particularly like it, but because I want to create a little bit more depth. I'm hoping that will help. So, oh, I'm gonna start here and move stuff around. Okay. <laughs> I would love to know the psychology of this type of pattern stuff because our brains want to create, they're like desperate to create a symmetrical pattern, which would look terrible. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be hard. It's like when you plant stuff. So like I've been doing a lot of gardening and there's this unconscious thing you do where you like lay plants out in a grid and you have to fight it and you don't even know you're doing it until you put all your plants down and then you're like, wait, it's a grid. Why is it a grid? I don't want a grid of plants, but it's just like this thing that your brain does where it's like, I will make a pattern out of it. And it's so, I don't know why my brain sounds like that, but it's so hard to not do. And I think I probably need like, a whole bunch more. I wonder if it would be better to have done a section and then put that in Figma and tile it. That might have, that might have behooved me. Perhaps. Excuse me. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. So layering them is going to be key as well. Oh, Marissa, you should have named these. You knew better and you did it anyway. It's okay.
hate the hearts.
Hmm. That's closer. There's something there. I need to think about it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it. I'm kind of intrigued by this section right here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's interesting and has some depth but it's not right. So anyway, I'm gonna think about it, figure it out. Um, and in the meantime, I should probably actually work on the architecture of the site and finish that first before I offload all of my worry into creative endeavors. So anyway, it's getting there, made progress. Um, and I like, I love playing with stuff like this. It's very fun. So, oh my gosh, snap back. All right, well, next week I will be able to do ceramics again. I couldn't this week because everything is still under snow. So anyway, next, next week. All right, um, thanks for joining and we will see you later. Or not we, royal we, I'll see you later. Okay, bye.